welcome to Physical Security University. My name is Guy Reams and welcome to our lab. Today I'm talking about power, specifically power considerations for physical security projects. We have a course coming up where you can learn various different aspects of power regarding physical security and video surveillance. Today I'm going to take a quick preview of various products and the solutions those products offer. First, let's go ahead and take a look at some mid-spans, specifically the 9501 products. This is a product offered by a company called Power Design. They offer two products, 9501 Go and the 9501 G product. They both do the same thing. One is designed for indoor and one is designed for outdoor. The reason that we have these products is so we can provide power to um, high power uh, PTZ devices and other things such as access points that might require power over, um, over a copper twisted pair. These provide a 60 watt power output over four pairs and they're compatible with the 802.3 AT standard which is pretty important to know about in the physical security world. In our upcoming course, we'll be talking all about power standards. Next, let's take a look at the 3501G products, which are single port stackable mid spans. As you can see here, these are the, the, the mid spans. These are two of them. One is called the Power Design 3501G, and the other one is a Power Design 900, uh, uh, 901G9001GR. Both of these are 802.3 AF compatible. They're single port and they're stackable. These are used for providing power to a single device, usually an IP-based camera, not usually a PTZ-based camera that might require other power to, uh, to power the camera. Let's take a look at uh, uh, the higher end mid-span, which is the 9524G. The 9524G is a rack mount mid-span, which provides uh, 802.3 AT standard power uh, at 60 watts per port. This device is very important because it actually provides less uh, power, it takes less power consumption than a standard Ethernet switch that provides power per port. A lot of people buy Ethernet switches to provide power to their cameras, which is seen as an economical way to go. However, when you deal with cameras, sometimes it's better to power it with a device that takes low power consumption. And this one certainly fits that mark. In addition, this one is completely manageable by SNMP and uh, a variety of other uh, software packages, one of which is included by Power Design called their PowerView Pro software. This allows me to shut ports down, turn them off at night, turn them off, at very, turn them off or turn them back on, power the cameras, cycle them, monitor and manage the power going on to my cameras. This is a great value add so that you can add this to your installations and so you can make additional money by, by remotely managing the power of your camera devices you're installing. We'll talk a lot more about this product during our course. Let's go ahead and take a look at some accessories that Power Design offers. The first accessory is a pretty good one. It's a PoE extender product. This actually allows you to extend the range of PoE by over 100 meters. As you know, you have, a, you have about a 100 meter limitation to CAT5 and CAT6, but this allows us to extend the PoE uh, of a cable over 100 meters. In addition, this supports 10, 100, 1000, so it does support gigabit speeds. In addition, you can stack these together, so you can basically cascade them, uh, and you can reach up to 500 meters by cascading them. This does not require local power, which is really awesome meaning you can power your device uh, an extra 100 meters by simply just putting this device in and you do not require a unit to be at the edge or at the, where you're placing the camera. The next accessory is POE Tester. This just simply allows you to test POE to determine what POE it's providing. It'll tell you what standard the POE is meeting, AF or AT or whatnot, and you can simply plug this into a cable and see if POE is present on the cable. If you sign up for our course, MicroSemi, uh, the owner, uh, the company uh, that is in partnership with Power Design, will go ahead and uh, they are going to we're going to send you one of these for free if you're a qualifying customer. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at some uh, power products provided by one of our vendors called Minuteman. The first one we're going to look at is some of their UPS products. The UPS products, uh, and there are a couple of them we're going to look at. This particular one is their Inspire 750, which is a small capacity uh, UPS, typically designed for a small DVR, and this can mount very easily to a wall. This provides 500 watts uh, or basically about 48 to 96 minutes of uptime in case of a power outage. We are going to take a look at their Pro RT 1500 UPS, uh, which I can't show here because it's in our rack. But we're also going to take a look at that one, which is the 1500 VA UPS. We'll be taking a look at both of these products. The nice thing about both these products is they are uh, both manageable by the Minuteman Sentry Plus software, which we'll be taking a look at how to use that software to manage uh, the power considerations in your physical security project. Let's go ahead and now take a look at some of the RPM products. Minuteman has several remote power management products. What you're looking at right now is the 1521 RPM. This has a built-in web server right inside the box. As you can see, you plug a network cable into it. It has power outlets out on the back. What this is designed for is to allow me to remotely switch off power if I ever need to. This is a lifesaver, especially when your cameras are in hard to reach locations and all you need to really do is reboot the camera device or reboot the power assembly. You can do so very easy, easily by logging onto the web server and performing that function. It also provides notifications to let you know when the power has failed. Uh, also text messages, emails, that kind of thing. Uh, it also allows you to ping it constantly to determine if it's up or down. And so this is a great device. Uh, they also sell uh, various other ones of these with eight ports or more. Uh, we will be showing you the RPM 1881, which is an eight port rack mountable device. I'm not going to show it to you now because it's in our rack. Uh, but this that, that particular one is just like this one, except it's in a rack mount form factor. Let's go ahead and take a look at the line guard product. This is great for physical security projects. The reason I say so is this works with CAT6. If you're ever installing cameras on the outside of a building, you, you cannot bring the cable into the building without first terminating it into a lightning rated device. In this particular case, you, you basically terminate your, your outside run, your outside plant run into the block and then you come out the other side uh, with your internal CAT6 run. This provides the ability to prevent against the power surge that might come from uh, an outdoor event such as lightning. These are absolutely required and Minuteman sells a really nice one that's easy to use, easy to install, not like some of the complicated lightning uh, arresters type systems you might find on the market. So, I look forward to uh, seeing you in our course. Our course will be coming up in a couple of weeks. I look forward to seeing you live and in person as we hold our course. Also keep in mind, if you're unable to make the live course, the course will also be uh, uh, archived so that you can view it later. Once again, this is Guy Rames from Physical Security University, and thank you for watching my video.